Live from the Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts. This is the YouTube channel vlog show in which video games, flash game show gameplays, along with sports and wrestling news, are the norm. This is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, good times, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now, here is the host of the show, the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself, Mr. Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer. Well, hello there once again. This is me, Big Beefy E, Eric Lima from my Big Beefy Man Cave in New Big Beefy Bedford, Massachusetts, or New Big Beefy Beige, Massachusetts. Welcome to the Big Beefy Show itself, known as Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977, episode number 52. 52 episodes. Could you leave that? 52 episodes in. And y'all been thinking, Eric, you're a nutcase since you, you know... You know, my father said this, said, hey, we're going to let you loose in this new room. And guess what? I've been let loose. That's right. I'm coming out to play. And I'm going to play big, man. We're going to go for big bucks, no whammies, all that good stuff. We're going to have some fun on this show. And nothing, and, and you know what? <laughs> there's, there's, some, uh, there's some people who have been, uh, been sniffing up the NyQuil chicken. And believe me, those NyQuil chicken sniffers... Are not going to interfere because they think too too crazy. That's all there is to it. And uh, I'll tell you what, we're gonna have some, I'm gonna have some fun. I always like to have some fun, but we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk a little bit because today is September 30th, 2022. Uh, obviously, this is the end of uh, September. This is the final day of September, as you know. Tomorrow is October the first. I gotta say, September is what has been a crazy month, uh, to say the least. Uh, you know, ever since August, um, a month ago, everything has changed. And uh, as you know, a lot of ch changes, a lot of changes have been happening between August and this month, uh, last month, and this month. And uh, I have to admit, it has been, you know, 2002, 2022, I should say, has been a year of change. And, and has been a year of change for me and my family and... Uh, I tell you what, you know, who would have thought, you know, beginning of the year, I would start off in the basement, uh, I, you know, after my father recovered from COVID and all that. Beginning of the year, uh, it, towards the end of, la of December of last year, my father came home after battling COVID. He conquered it. He came here and he came home and, you know, we were trying, we were trying to get back to kind of normal, but then the house had to be deleted in July. And it was at the end of June. We had to move out, and it was it was totally surreally uh, crazy. Just uh, you know, my, my my parents were working for Trembley's. My you know my sister was there too. So my other sister came and visited us for a while, and then uh, and I, I just it was all it was crazy that month of July. And then the, there was the Whalen City Festival. There was the, and everything else. We visited a friend's house and swam in their pool for a bit and hanging out in fellowship. And then it was, and then August, August where things started to pick up, you know, uh, the first week of August, we, you know, the Thursday, the, uh, the day the Portuguese feast began, that was when, uh, okay, house pass inspection. Then that's where, the, um, and then we're talking, you know, I was celebrating at the feast. And then, and then afterwards, 16 days later, I got this room. It's room. 16 days later after that, I got this room and everything else. But now, September was more of a progress to getting back to normal, so to, speak, to normal, so to speak, and everything else in between. And it's been, like I said, crazy. I was trying to get back into the podcast bit, uh, run with Rant and Rave and with the live reactions and, uh, you know, trying to get used to everything here and buying a lot of stuff online to make, the, uh, I'm buying stuff uh, at buying stuff at the stores to try to make this room better, to make everything better. You know, you always want to do something to make, you know, to, to bring improvements. And that was my ultimate goal, to bring in improvements to the room. And a lot, looks like a lot of feedback. And as a result of that, it's great. And then September rolls around and, you know, we're, uh, we're working with a skeleton crew at work because a lot of people have quit and everything else. You know, between August and September, we lost basically three people. And it goes, uh, they all quit. They all decided, you know, one took a vacation, decided never to come back. 
Uh, we had a housekeeping manager, didn't like the job, quit. And uh, I think one of our female housekeepers decided to take a long vacation, but decided not to come back either. I don't know why. You know, it was like, I, I can understand if you don't like the job or anything like that. It was frustrating you and all that. But 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 just not basically not showing up for work is kind of kind of like kind of disrespectful, you know. You should you should you know say, listen, boss, can I talk to you for a minute and see what's going on? You know, tell them what's going on, you know. And I think it's better that way because that way you show them you show respect to them and everything else. But you never know, you never know in life, you know. Sometimes you know you want you want to you know leave it, you know. So yeah, I want to leave the job of my own accord, but I want to do it the right way, and that's how it's supposed to be. But, you know, there's people out there, you know, feeling frustrated. I can understand, you know, if they don't want to, like, you know, verbally front, verbally say anything because you don't want to do something that they later regret, you know. I can understand that. But you got to be respectful sometimes. And sometimes you got to take a deep breath and go, okay, I got to do it. You know, but right now, like I said, I'm still working at the mall. You know, a lot of people say a lot of crap about me, but you know what? But they're nothing but night quill chicken eaters, you know. That's all I'm going to say about that. And uh, as we head into October, which is, you know, like spooky month. Everybody likes Halloween and, you know, and before you know it, when Halloween's over, then you kick off the holiday season. This will be my, uh, this will be my first holiday season in my new room. So this is a big, huge thing. And the coolest, the coolest thing about this is that, hey, I don't have to worry about, you know, basically, uh, I can go. You know, like I say, I get two, uh, two entrances to the room here. You know what I mean? And uh, two, uh, so I got one, you know, one in the back here and one here. So it's like, okay, which one can I use? You know, so this one, um, this winter will be very interesting to say at least. I don't think I'll, I don't have to do a whole lot of shoveling because we, uh, like I said, we have, we're, we're working with a skeleton crew as far as the housekeeping is concerned, and they probably need more help inside than outside. So that's the thing, and for us, because we because we do have uh, a a uh, shovel uh, a, sh a snow shoveling crew to help us out. I don't know if we're going to get that this year again, but I know we're trying to budget hours and budget money and all that. It's very difficult. Um, I'll talk I'll talk a little bit more about that because Olympia just closed their doors, and I will talk a little bit more about that on the next episode about Olympia. Closing, closing the doors and the mall has been changing around and all that and um <clears throat> a lot of people have been shopping online basically and you know even even when i get out of work not a lot of people are in the mall obviously the mall is open open up doors they usually come later on and uh they usually they usually come later on you know what i mean and uh so you know sometimes you uh and sometimes, you know, to me, I just want to get out of there. It's like, oh, forget this mall, man. I want to, I want to go home, you know, and, and shop on my own and shop somewhere else on my own. And it's like, oh my god, okay, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, so, uh, yeah, so yeah, a lot of stuff's going down. A lot of stuff is going on, and I will talk a little bit about um, uh, the Olympia, um, the Olympia, the Olympia, uh, the Olympia, the that's all, folks. Um, <laughs> The Olympia Sports Store that will be happening here, and um, and then it's going to be beyond crazy. Let me tell you, it's going to be um, it's going to be something. So, uh, well, I say my final thoughts is December two thousand twenty-two would be you know as summer end, summer is ended as of last Friday. Now, it was first full week of uh, fall. It's been completed. Now we're walking into October. The temperatures are starting to cool down a little bit more. And also, uh, a lot of folks in Florida have been hit by that nasty hurricane, Hurricane Ian. My prayers and my prayers and thoughts go out to you guys. Hope you guys are safe where you're at. Um, you know, it, it, I, 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 can, I, can, I can imagine, I cannot imagine what it's like to lose, you know, stuff in your property and it's like, flooding all over the place and you had animals flop yeah i saw a video of a seal flopping around on a sidewalk trying to find that and there was another thing you know i i don't know if this was photoshopped or anything like that some orcas have been swimming in the streets during flood and flood of the areas and you got one house flooded and there's an alligator running around there so i cannot imagine living in florida man but 
I know wild stuff happens there, but I, I gotta tell you, you know, you know, I can imagine, you know, from a political standpoint, the governor is going to be be to blame for all this. You know what I mean? And uh, so I I just prayed that my good friends Landry, who was supposed to be down there in Florida by tomorrow, um, hope they're safe somewhere. You know. And I think we're going to get a little bit of Ian up here because tomorrow it's going to be raining all day. I mean, just rain, rain, rain. But the wind's supposed to be light, so I don't know. But it's not going to be like huge thunderstorms or anything like that. It's just going to be just rain. And it's raining, so whatever remnants of Ian we get, we're just going to get a lot of... It's going to be a very yucky day tomorrow, which is fine because it is it is a Saturday. And when I get out of work on a Saturday, you know, it should be no big deal. And I got uh, to bring my umbrella and my stuff in for that. So we'll see what happens there. And I think it's going to be, it's going to be cool. The highest is going to be like 58, 57 degrees. Wow. So uh, the, the weather's starting to get cooled off a little bit. We did have a lot of heat, humongous heat wave over, over summer and, uh, and a huge drought too. So I be personally believe this rain that is coming right now is making up for that huge drought over the summer too. So that could be the thing. And then we don't know if we're going to have a whole lot of snow this winter too. Because sometimes we go through snowless winters or it snows a little bit here and there, and then all of a sudden, kaboom, you know, God, you know, all that good stuff. So we'll see what happens. So that is it. That's all the time we have here with episode number 52 of Eric Lee Machine Anigans of 1977, the final thoughts of September 2022. On the next episode, God, talk a little bit about, talk a little bit about Olympia sports. So, so I'll see you guys later. See you next episode. Uh, Mr. Announcer, please take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget production. And in association with a sweet bumbling bofo raver telepictures and distribution. See you next episode and have a very blessed day.